I can't believe it. I can't believe it. No sound. What's up, Nintendo Mail? Mike is muted, bro. I can't believe I did that. I was just talking about how I'm in an abyss right now. Uh, it's dark. I'm trying to find the folder. It's not working out. But we found a desktop background folder. So it's going to work out. It's going to be all right. Everything is going to be okay. Kind of curious about how Leo Convo is going to talk his way out of these FCK server logs. And if he does, I want to see how well he does it. You know, dude's slimy. A little, little bit of a slime. You know what I'm saying? Little, little mythological creature. What? All right, first, first one I see, I'm just putting up. Get bro. Ah, whatever this one. What is this? What is this one? You know what? Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's just let's just do this. Boom. In the study. You know what it is? I'm in the study. My new million dollar man. She got some dusty old books back there. But hey, we're doing fine. There we go. Much better. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Oh, my God. Today, oh, bro. We got the FCK server logs coming out. Fuchsia Butters finally addressing the FCK server logs. Excuse me. Who just added everyone in my Discord? Excuse me. Excuse me. Lady Nerders. Get this sh out of here, bro. <laughs> Shout out out of orbit. They're also live. Leia is also live, too. So we're kind of competing right now. Can't believe they would add everyone on my self promo thing. I don't add everyone on anyone else's self promo. Get the fuck out of here. There we go. What's up, Fish? Uh, Nintendo Mouse, Sleek the Geek, Okami Chan. Oh my God, the legends have come out. The, I'm nervous. The legends have all come out to play. All so crazy. Yes, working out. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get into this thing, bro. FCK of Akumo. Flatly the Librarian. You know me, bro. I got a new monitor now, too. This thing is huge. It's actually, it rolls down from the ceiling. If you didn't know that, super real. Oh, oh, we have a return. Oh my God, she's so big now. She's getting so big. Inke, oh my God, there's a hole in her head. How did you do that? That was kind of scary. That was crazy. You're so beautiful, Irish. Look at you. She's getting so big now. Getting so big now. Bruh. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I have been entirely keeping you all up to date. Oh, because as it no turns way. out, March 22nd, Fuchsia Butter, also known as Lucy, made a Twitter thread addressing the FCK. So I'm going to read it to you all and then share my thoughts. My statement on what's been going on. Whoa! Hi, everybody. Today, I just real quick wanted to talk about some things not many people in my audience may be aware of. Mainly, I do want to. I, 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 I got to find. Bro, I got to I got to find it on Twitter now. Gotta find it on Twitter now. Excuse me. I wanna. If he's just gonna read the whole thing out, um, I kind of don't want to. Uh... There, I'll have to move it to there. Let me go to Future Butter Twitter. Future Butter. What's up, Leanna Taylor? Uh, where the fuck are you, bro? I swear I was more prepared than this. FCK. So I'm going to read it to you all and then share my thoughts. My statement. F you. I don't even know how you spell that, bro. 
why they gotta spell their thing so fucking weird, bro? Pusha butter, your time has come. Let's see the cope. I want to see the cope. Account suspended. No fucking way, bro. The account has been suspended. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. It has been unfortunate as it is, but it is true. Fuchsia Butter's account has been suspended for violating X's rules. Unbelievable. Unfortunate. But we got the logs anyways. We got it. Wait, is it the same spelling? No. No, it is not. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Maybe it's not suspended. Maybe it's not suspended. Maybe we just typed it in wrong, right? Do this, bada bing, bada boom, control V, hit them with the S. Aha, ha, there we go. Here we go. Hit it with the F11. There we go. Look at this. Look. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I got to get this donation bar out of the way. Get it. Get the goal out of the way. All right. Use your butter out here. My statement on what's been going on. Wait a minute. X says rules. Imagine, bro. Imagine if X had some actual rules. I got to get this blanket off my desk. If you're not going to use it, Iris, I'm just going to put it on the floor for you, okay? You are so beautiful. Go, she going out here, bro. She, she out here coping in the streets. Coping. Coping on some meat, bro. Not even going to cat, bro. Look at this. Oh, my God. They got a whole thread. That is way too much of a, bro. Way too much cope for me to look at. I uh, was so thoroughly convinced by everyone around me that you were the bad guy that I needed to focus on regardless of whether or not we saw eye to eye on things. You didn't deserve any of that misplacement or misplaced harassment. You know what I got to say to that? You know what I, I got to say to that? Oh my God. I just, you know what I say to that? I would say we just do this boom and then we let Akumo on talk for us because going. Akumo is a way better narrator than I ever will be. God. Hi everybody. Today I just real quick wanted to talk about some things not many people in my audience may be aware of. May that is the bull face lie. Everyone is, everybody's aware of it, bro. Mainly, I want this. That bro, like Akuma's almost saying it. Fuchsia, everyone's aware of it. It's all to be put to rest so that I and friends of mine can get on with our lives. You're never going to get on with your lives, motherfuckers. You were sending a pro, a profanic motherfucking shit to little kids, bro. Disgusting. Start with the first thing. I don't think you should have a life to go on about. I think you should be locked up. My public Discord server has come under scrutiny specifically due to the fact that moderation was poor and that NSFW jokes, memes, and images were posted in it. Isn't this the part of the community that holds everyone to the nth degree, bro? Everyone is held to a fucking high-ass standard when it comes to miners, especially people associated with Leo Convoy. But, in fact, we got the, the, the exact opposite of it. Right? I remember they dragged me for some... Guys, rice cake, pass them around. Pass them around, guys. Right? We got rice cakes. It might be a minute. It might be a minute. I need to go get some honey... Right? Put some honey on these rice cakes. Well, p take one, pass it around. We'll be here for a little bit. From time to time, I realized that while I had gotten better about this it was like in recent styrofoam. years, I treated the server like I treated my content. I make my content for adults, so I treated my server as though it just contained adults. But this is a naive way of thinking, Cap. and I came no, to- No, 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 The youngest person in the FCK server, hear me out, ladies and gentlemen, you guys ready? The youngest person, hear me out, you ready? Get Hold on to your seats. 12 years old. Yeah, right. It could, majority of it, the majority of it might be people of age, but there's no way you're going to use that excuse. To realize that recently, I had created the server as a minor and posted within it as I had in many of the circles I was dragged into as a minor. I was none the wiser to the fact that I was even doing it. It kept up into my adulthood for a time and I realized and stopped. Till recently, I wasn't even aware that my sex jokes were a trauma response, a coping mechanism. I don't know if it's the bland, plain, sodium-free rice cake in my mouth that tastes like absolute chalk and styrofoam. Or if it was just the absolute disgusting, disgusting cope coming off in this tweet that made me just get upset just now. I don't know what it was. Nearly threw up. Could have been the rice cakes. Or it could have been the comment of, I didn't realize I was being abused. So I let shit go sideways. What the fuck? How did it get so bad? Because really, to me, if sex was funny, then what happened to me when I was a minor mustn't have been terrible, right? But now that I've been able to recognize it, I've been correcting. Cry about it. Cope about it. Go to the police. Go to Leo Convoy.
So as a result, my YouTube server has been given increased moderation, a new set of rules, all the chats have been reset, and things have become a lot strict. When you say reset, were they archived, stored away for later use, or were they completely deleted as for you to not get in trouble? Sleek Geek goes, that's not even old enough to Discord. You have to be like 13. Uh, why were you allowing minors in your server in the first place? I don't allow minors in my server, so if I find a minor, I kick them and I say, come back when you're 18. And that's what I do. Exactly, Sleek Geek. That's exactly what I do. Unless it's like, just kidding. Imagine if I almost made an excuse there. Imagine, bro. I'm on trolling level 1000 right now. You guys have no idea, bro. But no, there's literally, like, if it's a Minecraft server, heavily moderated. Okay, if you're if you got a server that's revolving around, you know, activities with minors, uh, you need heavy moderation for that, bro. Like, like look at all the Roblox. I can't use Roblox because there's there's really, really, really bad apples in Roblox. But oh my god, bro. Victor, the last thing I want is for anyone to feel unsafe in my servers. So I'm doing the best that I can now to make them as safe as possible. Guys, Secondly, something? at one point I down. was in the FCK. For those of you who don't know, the FCK was a server I was dragged into by Toasty Vanilla extremely shortly after I turned 18. These people talk as if they have no choices in the matter, bro. Just say you don't want to join the server. You have a choice. You have a choice. Why are you sh throwing people under the bus, bro? Literally within weeks, I'd completely blocked out most of this experience until I was reminded of it recently by the discussion surrounding it. TLDR, the server was a fucking cesspit that Toasty dragged miners and creators into. Ridiculous amounts of NSFW were posted in it. I had some in there, but only because of the constant pressure Toasty exerted. Uh, nobody is forcing you. This is a toasty under the bus scenario here. Um, Fuchsia Butter, you're scum. They're actual scum. Grow a spine. If you're really this weak, don't go online. Grow a spine. They yeah, pushed help. people to make racial jokes they weren't comfortable with to find the most disgusting NSFW they could. At the time, I was far too naive to realize that the server was even bad. I had just turned 18 and Toasty was an expert manipulator. He'd spam people with porn to desensitize them, lie about things like ages and his involvement in situ- Hot tag, hot tag. You can always just leave a Discord. You can always just leave a Discord. Hey, what's up, b -Hall? Um, what? Yeah, you can always just leave a Discord. Hot take. She's lying. Situations, threatened people to keep them quiet. He pulled Take the wool over down, my boys. eyes so severely that I didn't even know he abused my good friends Teddy and Mifi in different ways and until recently I was told by Teddy that she never felt like she could tell me because apparently everyone else she told thought she was lying and that absolutely disgusted me. I was never able to stop to think about what was going on, as Toasty always had everyone's attention and shifted everyone's focus. Whenever you'd ask him a question, he'd change the subject or push the conversation to other things. He'd control the room at all times. Whoa. The biggest thing I can think of is when he manipulated me into making a video on Akumu. That video should have never been made. Toasty fed me so much bullshit, so much misinformation, lies, twisted version of events, and I trusted him because he was supposed to be my friend. My mind at the time was so lost, so scared of losing anyone, that I tried my best to be anyone and everyone's friend. I was so naive. I wanted to look for the good in everyone I had even had brief interactions with to... Akumu specifically, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the videos I made. I'm sorry for the comments I made. And any of the sexual ins- That sounds like defeat. Fuchsia butter. There's no funny because Akumu is the one reading this. Sounds like you accepted defeat and now are coping. And trying to find slanderous ways to throw other people under the bus. Accept your L's! Insults I made. I was so thoroughly convinced by everyone around me that you were the bad guy that I needed to focus on. Regardless of whether or not we see eye to eye on things, you didn't deserve any of that misplaced harassment. Relevant to this all is something I never wanted to talk about, mostly because I didn't think it would ever come back up in my psyche. But being reminded of Toasty brought this all back. I was an extremely vulnerable. You have a really good understanding of words for someone who is just naive. Vulnerable and damaged person when I met Toasty in 2019. 
At the time, I was in fact a minor, as I'd met him right on the tail end of my sexual trauma. From 7th grade to my sophomore year of high school, I was a victim of various sexual circles online. When I was 14, oh my I was in a relationship- Get the fuck out of here, bro! Relationship. I'm a real- Sexual trauma? Online sexual trauma, that's a new one. Get the fuck offline! Get the fuck offline! Actually! Like, actually! Online sexual trauma? What the fuck are you doing? When I'm online, when I was 14, I was playing Call of Duty. I was on MySpace. You were told, as a kid, when I was growing up especially, what kind of fucking miscreants were going to be online. What you should stay away from. How did that message not get to you? Either that, you chose to ignore it, or you thought you were better than everybody else. Therefore, this is your fault. What the fuck? With an it's gonna be a small night tonight, guys. By the way, uh, we got we got the orbit um stream going on. Lay something still live right now, so sure here right now. God bless, God bless. I feel like the the, the vibe's gonna get way more views, anyways. Eighteen year old. This happened a few more times with various other adults, but the results were almost always similar. I was coerced into sending nudes, pushed into having e sex. No, I was forgiven. They were freshly eighteen. Oh, right. You're right. You're right, Sleeky. I'm so sorry. They're my bad, Fuchsia. You were freshly eighteen. My bad. My bad. You know, this, this, this is on me. This is on me. Made What's to up, do Nintendo? sexual sorry role about, plays. What do you mean, yo, Nintendo, man? What are you talking about? What do you mean you're sorry about not talking, bro? We're it's all good. What are you talking about? In a zero build match? What are you talking about, bro? Nintendo, man, you're crazy, bro. Involving myself. All of. I love you, bro. This occurred while I was in the apps. Amino and kick. Big fucking shock. Right. You were told, oh, don't go there, bro. Don't go there. I was surrounded by adults who bombarded me with sexual imagery and role-playing. I wanted to fit in. I went along with it all. And only recently did I really start to... Why not go to some... Act <laughs> These fuckers are so fucking weird online, bro. You're so weird. Go out and make... You're 14 years old. Go out and make some actual friends, bro. You're still in school. There's no way you don't have friends, bro. Hit him up on a Discord or some shit. Don't go to these Discord. I wanted to be accepted. No, you didn't, bro. Come on. To accept that I was a victim. Oh, you're at in a Fortnite Zero Bill match? Assault, not talking to chat? Don't worry about that. I remember when exactly. I was also sexually assaulted at my first workplace by a co-worker. Yep. yep. George was right. Yep. George was 100% right. Quite a few times. Say this all because I believe Toasty could tell. He had a knack for finding traumatized individuals after all. He, along with many other people who were in my life, especially when I was a minor, viciously sexualized my trans identity, especially when slash after I came out. Toasty would constantly talk about his food of fetish and project it onto me. He pushed to have an art of our OCs made, either being what shipped together fuck? or fucking, and thankfully the latter never happened. Dude, if I was 14 and someone tried to explain this to me, I'd think you're fucking weird. There's no way these people are this dumb. No way. I gotta be just brain dead, fucking stupid, bro. No social interaction. Happened. At this least what that COVID I know did of. To he people. was a huge influence over everything I did. Basically, I did everything he told me to do without even realizing it. All I want is for this to be over. I don't ever want to think about Toasty again, but I want the world to be aware of what he was. And I'm glad that's happening. To those who expected me to be perfect, I'm not, and I'm sorry. I'm an incredibly traumatized individual who's apparently rather easy to manipulate. I've woken up every day for the last three or four years trying to make it better than the previous day. To make myself better. It's hard, but I've been trying. Know that I'd never do anything to harm anyone I love. Friends, family, fans. I want them all to be safe and happy. Please give Teddy the Draws, Me Fishy, and other victims of Toasty your attention. Make sure their voices are heard. Teddy and Me Fishy. You are two people who are very What's your stance on Leo Convoy then? Important to me. They matter to me more than they are. That's how real they are. This is an example I found of Toasty lying to me directly about Teddy. He did this a lot. Toasty, bro, you seriously have to drop this shit with Teddy. It's super, super toxic. I read super twice. That's not me. This is Butters. Future Butters. I'm guessing what's his name is fucking just vanilla. This isn't between me and Teddy. This is between Teddy and Wade. 
I'm not spreading rumors about her. Hmm. She's really her mind scared all about all this stuff. To be honest, I understand why she was. Uh, okay. A lot in VCs lied about so many things and so many people. And here is that screenshot of uh, Toasty apparently lying about. I don't see where they're lying. Teddy. I don't know anything about this, nor do I have any interest in this at the moment. There's going to be a video that later on talks about Toasty. We'll cross that. Because we lost it all. Hey, nothing lasts forever. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't be Ooh, perfect. Oh, funny. What? You fail to understand is when people behaved like this back in the day, they were bullied into being normal. Nowadays, these weirdos prop themselves up and convince themselves that they weren't, that they aren't the weird ones, or that what they do should be accepted. Dude, JFA, you hit it on the nail, bro. What is with these motherfuckers always normalize this, normalize that, bro? They get in these echo fucking chambers online, right? JFA is spitting right now. These fucking weirdos get in these echo chambers online. And I, I'm going to be real. I'm, this is be a hot take, but I blame the schools. It starts at the fucking schools. They started like, cracking down on bullying, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. It, it, when I was going to school and you were running around with arms behind your back like you were in that... <clears throat> like you were in Naruto, everybody called you a retard. Everyone called you an idiot, bro. Now you can't do that shit because your ass is going to get suspended, bro. We used to fight over the dumbest shit in school, right? Over the dumbest shit in school. Now they don't even do half that shit, bro. Everything's normalized. Everybody lives inside of an echo chamber. And then these fucks go home because they, they're they fucking, they're weird as shit. I'm not going to lie. I worked at a school for a little bit over the last summer. Uh, didn't work out. Had to quit. Hated it, bro. But these fucking kids are weird. They got like fucking tails and shit, bro. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, it don't even look like they're wearing, but they got boys wearing skirts and shit. Like, I don't really give a fuck about that i was i was an emo kid i wore i had long hair and eyeliner and all that kind of stuff i get it right you want to revolt and all this other kind of shit but these weird fucks nobody makes fun of them their peers aren't judging them anymore because they can't right because schools are cracking down on it and then they don't even crack down on the actual bullying first off bro they just validate these kids weird ass opinions and they're fucking kids they're gonna regret it all these kids are gonna fucking regret it there's the suicide rate is going to jump so fucking high because these people are, they're going to have the same thing that we had. When we look back at a Facebook post we made like 10 years ago, like, oh my God, I was so cringy. How could my mom let me say this online, right? It's worse for them because it's a public image for them. They've been seen in public like this now, right? It's even crazier. So they live in these weird echo chambers in schools. They're weird ass fucking whatever is going on. It's validated by the teachers and everything and how they feel it should be normal, even though their bodies are going through the biggest hormonal change their human body's ever going to experience in their life with puberty, right? They go home to these discords where, again, they live inside these echo chambers online that even validates their weirder opinions. So then when somebody comes along and says, hey, this is fucked up, they're bullied. And then they have nothing else to say. Oh, actually, I was groomed. I was groomed into doing this. I didn't know this was wrong. Nobody ever told me it was wrong. And you know what? They're probably right because nobody ever did tell them it was wrong. And they have no idea but to feel sorry for themselves. So the next best thing is to cope about it and say, Oh, I was groomed. I was I was forced. I was harassed. They, they made me feel a type of way. And I, I wanted to be a part of a group and all that other kind of stuff. Why don't you just fucking pick up a ball and a bat? Join a baseball team. Go play hockey. Start skateboarding. Go spray paint the sides of buildings like a normal fucking kid. Instead of staying in the house online all the time, bro. Just do some normal kid shit. Whatever happened to that, bro? That's what I did. I'm, I'm still weird as fuck. Don't, like, I'm a weird Call of Duty nerd, bro. But this is some weird ass shit, bro. Some crazy fucking weird degenerative shit road when we get there the only other thing i wanted to talk about was my opinion on aged up characters that has changed over the years jfa i'm gonna tell you why you're wrong well in my case i'm gonna tell you why you're wrong about my case the sad jfa says the sad thing is this generation will be taking care of us when we get sentenced to the nursing homes i ain't going to no nursing home bro i'm going out bro i'm talking about i got like eight pounds of tannerite in my ass ready to go i'm pulling the plug and that fucking thing and nighting the shit out of it in the wheelchair as they pushing me down my ramp outside my house bro i'm gone i'm out of there i don't be a cloud of dust on the side of the neighborhood street bro i'm gonna look like that that fucking what was that thing in monsters inc where they had the plate over it and they blew up the sock and it was all ash and black that's gonna be me bro that's gonna be me in my wheelchair that's how i'm going out i had, I had a feeling this was gonna come up it was an and opinion going to catboy ranch dude i saw a meme sleek geek i saw a meme they opened up a fanboy hooters in buffalo it scared me it was an iFunny meme i'm like there are people on iFunny uh from buffalo 
I think the fuck not, right? It scared me. It scared me. But it was actually just Dave's Hot Chickens. They opened one here. I'm happy for that. Okay, I got a little scared. I thought it was real. I got gaslit. That I was... That was not my own. Something pushed onto me by adults using me when I was a minor. I clung to it. Used it as justification for the bad things that I went through. Do you ever, like... You ever have to question yourself, Butters, in a certain situation? You know, ask your parents. Ask your peers. Ask, you know, mom and dad. Aunt, uncle, grandma. Ask them, hey, is this... Should I be doing this, right? Should I really be doing this? All of your problems in life... And I don't... I, I myself don't follow this rule sometimes, guys. But all your problems in life... If you ever have those questions, ask yourself, will grandma be okay with doing this, with me doing this? Will grandma be okay with me doing this, right? All you OnlyFans models, if it is truly female empowerment for you to be posting those pictures online, ask yourself, would grandma be okay with me doing this? Would you care if your family saw you do this? If it was empowering, I'd think you'd want to show your grandparents. If you got the first chair in a fucking orchestra for like the Philharmonic Orchestra, You'd, you'd want to tell grandma right away, right? But if you're top 1% on OnlyFans, which is a, monument, a monumental achievement, that is insanely hard to do. That's a lot of work for OnlyFans, right? Do you really think you'd be telling grandma? There. Ladies and gentlemen, all your problems can be solved there. 600 gallons of do-it-yourself HRT at Camp Boy Ranch. God damn it, boys. We got to come on down to Camp Boy Ranch, brothers. All the way from ages 16 to 18. Uh, nothing below, nothing above. What is it? We, I actually, we could do it in Japan because then we can. The legal age limit is lowered. That's a horrible idea. I just fed some pedophiles some ideas. Hold on, fuck. That's that's horrible. There were a lot of opinions that weren't my own. I've done my best over the years to learn and grow. I got over a lot of racial prejudices for my conservative upbringing through my friend what? Weda, who helped me understand a lot of things. I'm going to log back off of Twitter now, as my mental health has been severely deteriorating to a scary degree. A couple of things that I've noticed: Cope. these people Cope. can't help but bring up their traumatic experiences. Their trauma, their PTSD. Oh my god, I had to teach myself how to, not to be racist. Bro, how do you have to teach yourself? How do you have to need... What? You need somebody to tell you not to be racist, Fuchsia? You needed somebody to tell you that? You. Everybody has that one grandfather. Everyone has that one grandfather. I, I shit you, the racist fuck, right? Everybody has that grandfather. They either fought in World War II, saw the Gulf War, Vietnam War, it doesn't matter. Everybody had that grandfather that either didn't like blacks, whites, Chinese, Japanese, didn't matter. They fucking, everyone had that grandpa that just fucking hated them, bro. And you needed to, I didn't, I didn't have to have anybody to tell me not to be racist. I know, I know that as a person, as a loving human being, I, I should not go after people who don't deserve it. Just because their skin color is different than me doesn't mean our character is that much different. We could all still be struggling. Like in school, bro, when I was the only white kid in school, right? I was I was treated like royalty. I was I was I was I was that cracker, bro. That's what the hell oh, fuck. What the fuck am I going on about? But I didn't need anybody to tell me to not be racist, right? You know, I went to a white school and I didn't need anybody to tell me to not be racist there. Right? I don't think an adult ever had to tell me to do that, right? I I just uh, Fuchsia Butter, you needed somebody to, to tell you not to be racist. Your family had had uh, fucking, what, what did she say? Conservative views. And so you are you were brainwashed into being racist. My, my parents, I come from a very conservative family, right? Never once in my life did I think that I was racist. Never once in my life did I question their views at times. Of course. Yes, of course. Do I agree with all their points? No. I was a fucking kid. I didn't need anybody to tell me the difference. And then you learn as you go on. You make decisions for yourself. Such a scapegoat. You needed somebody to tell you to not be racist. That's insane to me. Your your brain is already degenerative past, way past this fucking Twitter post. You, you're gone. You're lost is and what they went through when they were younger when it comes to the sounds like ram ranch you had lyo bringing up the peaches was groomed has nothing to do with the you had doodle tones who was talking about how they were groomed despite the fact that that has nothing to do with the fetish shit because the fetish shit came before they even met their groomer i don't know what it is with this community but anytime they're under any fucking scrutiny any hot shit it's my PTSD. when they're in the hot seat as they like my to sexual assault. they always have to bring up their trauma every fucking time lucy talking about how he just Dude, it's a card game to them bro 
it's it's a wing we all saw the the peaches call right we all saw oh my god i i've been sexually assaulted too you just didn't know it was way worse than yours and i didn't act like this get over it like these people are fucking disgusting these people are absolutely disgusting. b Hall's Breakdown, my homeboy. Shout out b Hall's Breakdown. b Hall W in chat. b Hall W in chat. Um, I came from the worst state and very conservative family. I'm not racist. Well, that's right. b Hall, you come from Alabama. This motherfucker comes from the backwoods of Alabama. And guess what? Guess what? The motherfucking KKK is out there. Literally, like, b Hall could have been at the KK rally as a kid and you wouldn't even know it, right? Could have been at that cookout, wouldn't even know it. Nobody ever had to tell him. To not be racist. Fuchsia, where the fuck are you from? I know your ass is from California or New York or some shit like that. You talk like it. Fuck out of here, bro. Turned 18 when he was invited to the FCK server. It's such a strange um, thing to bring up, considering Toasty had worse. also just turned 18 and was still in high school. This idea he pushes that Toasty pushed him oh so much to be sad. Dude, I've done some cringy things in high school. I'm not gonna lie. Did some cringy cornball stuff. Actual in the FCK server around the miners that were like there this, bro. is fucking ridiculous. Fuchsia was very sexual in his own Discord server that had miners in it. He tries to say Toasty projected his Futa fetish onto him when Fuchsia sent Futanari porn into the What is Futa? I'll look that up. What is Futa? Isn't that like something? What is Futa? Futa, it's like anime, right? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you all have a wonderful night. Imagine, bro, imagine I ended stream like that. No, 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 I just looked up the definition of it, right? Futa serves as slang within the realm of adult content, notably prevalent in anime, manga, and hentai, denoting the futanari genre. This genre encompasses characters embodying both male and female sexual traits, essentially featuring individuals with male genitalia and female breasts. Hey, wait, is Futa trap? Is Futa, is Futa anime trap? It's women Dude These people are fucking weird bro You're weird Nobody's This is not normal This Who the fuck told these people this was normalized bro Get the fuck to The out. FCK you server on his own And sent my little pony Futanari porn Into what his own fuck? server What then the fuck No No <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with people bro Holy shit, cringiest thing I did during high school was join a backyard wrestling and got my ass kicked. Dude, I've done some backyard wrestling stuff too, but we just use like barbed wire and shit like that. Uh, oh, comment chat, no, not really. It's just somebody who never asked to be born like that. Exactly, bro. Then there's Lucy's claim that Toasty manipulated him into making the video on me. That it was Toasty who misled and gave you shit everything for the video It's on all Toasty. I do did. believe that. Did I lie to you? Did I lie to you? I told you what was. Toasty is a manipulative person. No doubt about it. But this is a fucking lie. Sleepy it was Fuchsia was right. who saw Mad Libs' video along with Ponder Sprocket and Nezzy Monster's collaboration that had just been released. That made him want to make a video on me. I've spoken to both Mad Libs and Nezzy Monster about this. Specifically with Nezzy Monster in the Synod call that I have public on my channel. Hell, we have the DMs between Mad Libs and Nezzy confirming this. Whoa! The fact that Fuchsia used the screenshots from Mad Libs and Nezzy Monster in his video. Even after Fuchsia's video on me, it was his idea to do the follow-up recorded reaction that they eventually put on Foxton's channel. This is him talking about it in the FCK server. Except he Dude, recently FCK deleted cursed, his Discord cursed, account cursed, cursed, and cursed, purged. Cursed. Anyways, I still have the logs almost every mention of me I haven't gone through them all from his discord absolutely terrified too if you're wondering why i haven't gone through them all server totally not suspicious at all that same video didn't even have toasty in it and fuchsia admitted in it that they were using me for views also like oh, i'd like to mention that i've actually gotten like a good amount of subscribers for someone who made a first video and a lot of views for someone that made a first video <laughs> That's because you were on a yeah. trending thingy. Exactly. But congrats. Bro. Thank you. Sorry, kid, but we're going to use you if we, <laughs> as long as we fucking want. Yeah. Yet he wants everyone to believe that Toasty manipulated him 
into making the video on me. When it was Toasty who was complaining about how the FCK do nothing but talk about me. I find that really, really fucking hard to believe. Especially considering he offers no evidence of this. Surely there's got to be a DM of something to do with me, something that can remotely back up this claim. Alas, we have nothing, and now he's deleted his Discord account. That's just a little strange, a little odd, but so be it. Wow! In 2023, I- Hey, shut the fuck up, I was talking. God damn. God damn, Miss Butters. Five. I realized that- Miss Butters! The TISM report- I gotta, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Just in case I forget, just in case I forget, post. Oh, we got him. We cooked with this one. We cooked with that one. Port is back, folks, and with a temporary but new background. With yes! that said, by the way, Leo Convoy uh, has a plan for the FCK server. Super excited to hear what this is about. This is the last video of the night. I just wanted to do a short little stream. Uh, we've been, we've been, we've been going for forty minutes. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus. Right into the meat of today's topic. To well, not long. really today's topic, because there's several topics to disclose, because there's several topics I'm going to talk the, 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 about. The News this team. video's topic. If you've been paying attention to my Twitter, I've been uh, somewhat pissed off lately. And I'm not saying that because, oh, you don't want to see me when I'm angry, you but more so because angry. shit like this never really gets to me. I'm normally able to keep my cool. And yet there's been two things so far that have actually managed to piss me off a little bit. Most recently being what Lyo is doing behind the scenes. But before I get into that, I want to establish why people are mainly upset about the FCK and the whole situation to begin with. The first main reason there was a 12 year old and they're getting sent sexually explicit content is that there are, were minors as young as 12 and 13 in the Ooh. server exposed to the porn. As it turns out, Slimmers was not the youngest, who was 15 at the time. She was just the one minor that pretty much everybody, and including almost every fucking adult in there, knew was 15. There were minors younger than her, again, as young as 12 and 13. We found this out thanks to Doodle Tones and Thuman. And although Doodle Tones helped disclose that information, that isn't to say that they're an unbiased party and that they aren't involved, because they very much are, but I'll get into that in a moment. But the main reason people are upset, the first one, is that there were kids in this Discord server being Literal exposed kids. to children, porn, And several of the adults participated in spamming the chat with porn and showing them pornography. And the ones that didn't participate in it knew about it and didn't say anything didn't stop it didn't remove the miners didn't try and ask the miners to leave the server they did nothing so even if they didn't participate in spamming the fucking These porn like a bunch of degenerates suck. they still knew about it and didn't have a problem with it and this goes into the second issue as to why people are upset these same people that were in the fck for years now since 2020 could moral grandstand dozens and dozens of different people throughout the community could get up on their moral pedestal and point the finger and condemn people for either shit that they actually did do, or just outright false accusations. They LARPed as these moral authorities and said that certain people needed to be talked about, certain people needed to be called out, and certain people needed to be held accountable. And they've been doing it yep. over the years when the FCK shit has sat in that circle. You got, you got to get the camera ones? Fuck. My coworker said the same thing. Fuck, dude, I'm an idiot. Server, I should've got him. Not disclosed to anybody because they wanted to keep it hidden. They wanted to keep it a secret. That's keep why any time I talked about the FCK it's and what they were getting thing, up to, actually. they made sure to silence me with false accusations or bringing up the false accusations. I don't know how Kumo does it, bro. They've been slandering him. They've been bullying him. They've been threatening to dox his ass. He's probably already been doxed, bro. They're telling the truth with these moral fagging idiots. Talk about you, Leo Convoy, and all his little miscreants that follow below him. Saying that I wasn't a 
credible fucking source because I've said mean things to them. The sanctimonious hypocrisy Meanie. is the second reason as to why people are upset because the hypocrisy yeah. is fucking rampant. Yeah. As recent as of the end of 2023, Nezzy Monster participated in a little, in a little slideshow commentary get together that involved Lyo, and it's on Doodle Tone's channel. It's about six to seven hours long, and in it is grandstanding people talking about how they need to be held accountable. But I personally feel like, I'm not, not saying it needs to be right now, but I feel like you, at some point, once he and Tiffy are like, emotionally better i never you finished the like senate call that shit was too gay bro you need to just go up to them and be like hey you guys need to be actively working to improve yourselves you know no, they, need they need to actively be working to suck starting shotguns to their mouth in call of duty 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 you need to be actively accountable right now something Actually, that i've leo stitched to other people's parents you know he was very liked Dude, imagine, bro, imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine, the dude fucking called the kid's school. I, are you aware of his online activities? Uh, yes, who is this? Are you a parent, friend, guardian? No, actually, I'm just a random online, but I do some pedophile hunting investigations. So, why the fuck would you call a school, Leo? Fucking weird, bro. That's not the flex you think it is. in this community is that Tippy and Key tend to be held with kids' gloves. You don't need to go down on them hard, but you need to hold them accountable. These individuals LARP as moral figures for the art commentary audience to what idolize. They are. That is the second reason as to why people are upset. The third reason kind of ties back into the first reason, but it's again that these people said nothing. They had no problem condemning people for doing shit exactly like this, and if anyone else had done this, we all know that they'd be a big fucking bandwagon. Hell, people who have done shit less than this, not nearly as bad as the FCK server, have been lambasted and condemned by this same fucking community, by many of the people in the FCK. Shit less than that has had them do massive bandwagons or have had them trying to run people off and out of the community, convincing themselves they're holding them accountable. Me being a meanie pants and getting a couple of things wrong resulted in them accusing me of doxing and a bunch of other You're shit, but the second shit. is a conversation about what they were getting up to a in the server. Oh, no, no, no. Muffin. We gotta stop this bus. You have the same if people who will. would condemn everybody else and has condemned everybody else who's done shit like this. Trying to make excuses, trying to make defenses, going as far as lying. Like Lyle Convoy, which has led some Ooh, people to be upset that Lyle, the Lyle Convoy Lyle peaches Convoy? shit. Lyle Convoy? Lying? <laughs> Get a thumbnail face going. Has somewhat overshadowed the FCK situation. But again, that's due to Lyle weaseling his way into getting involved and then lying for peaches. Okami Chan says, what's funny is that people who are not part of the ACC, art commentary community, for those of you that are uh, stupid, yet still within the commentary community, recognize doodles from a Mr. Medicare situation years ago, bro. That's what I'm saying. Dude, and as of recently, he hasn't stopped trying to weasel his way in. You Dragon all might be Smith wondering, well, well, since Lyle's been nah, so fine, quiet, bro. aside from getting ratioed by me and then deleting the tweet. What? I think I set up my balls, bro. Ah, I gotta puke now. Ugh. Bitch, bro. Oh. We're good. We're good. The Lyle Convoy comment got me. What has he been up to? Why so Just quiet? Time, and I can tell you exactly time, what he's getting up to, because several sources have given me information. Aside from Lyo working on addressing the accusations from Peaches and other people, most likely going to paint himself a victim to Peaches' manipulation, he's working with Nezzy Monster and Doodle Tones, two FCK members, to talk about the FCK. Huh. When was the last time that the FCK members banded together to produce a biased hit piece video trying to change the perspective on a situation to defend themselves, to make themselves Drama. look better. And how did that turn out? They've been setting this up. Well, this mama. is why he first tried to say that I was going to misrepresent the FCK server. He's going to try to use oh, cherry picked examples. Fat as fucking heads are, bro. Look at this sauce, little piggy oink oink fucker. Have another donut, dumbass. To try to frame it as Peaches being okay with degeneracy being. Holy shit, Leo Convoy's so fucking fat. This motherfucker parallel parks. In the shower stall, bro. Goddamn, yo. Leo Convoy, you look skinnier than tomorrow. You know what I'm saying, bro? You're so fucking fat. Holy shit, bro.
shown to kids. Then said that it's not quite as it's being presented. We'll go more in depth when I cover the FCK. Oh, I, I wonder if you can see his own feet, bro. That's, Leo Kamba, can you see your own feet? The whole. Suffice it to say, it's not inherently what it appears to be from the standpoint currently given. And then you had Doodles who said that I was mostly right, but couldn't explain what I was wrong about. So, a Pimu's petty grudge with the FCK server aside, if one of the allegations against the- Lil Convoy, let me know the next time you go to McDonald's, so we're gonna start ordering stock in it. The ...server was that it was a danger to minors? I absolutely agree. With that said, I do have to wonder how much Akumu actually cares about the victimization of minors there, when he holds no problem wanting to make fun of me as a victim of grooming by his own words. That's not his job, though. Still have a problem with me doing so. I do have to raise an That's not his job, nor is that his take. At that. Because no matter how correct he is about the server, and again, let me be clear, for the most part, at least when it comes to the behaviors in there, he is correct. They've been setting up this whole thing so that they can provide a different perspective that conveniently gives them leeway or an excuse. Let me give you an example. Go back to the Nezi Monster Senate call and that whole situation to the sexual harassment accusations that she made. She refuses to admit to any fucking dishonesty on her part, even though it's blatantly there. Instead, she presents it as a honest mistake. That way, her audience is like, oh, well, Nezi just made a mistake. Come on, give her a break. She just made a mistake. That's all it is, is just a mistake. You're just holding a mistake over her head. As if she hasn't been lying about the whole situation for literally four fucking years now. Think of that. But for the FCK situation, they're How trying long? to, they're trying to manufacture. How long did Leo have the FCK server logs? Was that two years? Sure, or produce an angle okay. that they can tackle it or address it that gives them leeway, that gives them some kind of defense so that they can manipulate the audience's perspective more into their favor. And I know exactly how they're going to do that. The problem is, is I can't disclose those details to you. Hopefully, soon enough I can, because the sheer fucking gall, the testicular fortitude to do what they're doing behind- <laughs> I cast testicular torsion unto thee. You guys know where that's from. Uh, you're amazing. Behind the scenes, and yet want to accuse me of not caring about the fucking victims is rich. But just prepare yourselves, because you're going to get an extremely biased, skewered perspective of the FCK events to make defenses for themselves. Because yep. they're upset that yes. people are upset with them yes. for the shit that everyone can see that they did. They have to try and twist it into Why are their you favor. wet? Again, this is the art commentary. Where community. were you? I've shown you all this with my FCK series dozens of times, so I'm not necessarily surprised. But the way they're going about it and what they're specifically doing to try and do this has actually pissed me off. And I don't really get pissed off by this shit. So that's to give you an idea as to just how fucking bad it is and just how desperate they are. And hanging out in Kumo's server with in-law is the latest- I don't give a fuck, Leo Cowboy. Shut up. Guys, get ready for the absolute mess that is going to be the FCK server logs. By Leo Convoy. This is going to be horrible. You are so beautiful. You know how many people I'd murder to get you over again? What do you guys think? How bad? How fucking bad is it going to get? How bad? Here I am. That's a, that's a portrait of my dad right there, by the way. That's what he actually looks like. How bad is it going to get? Don't you leave. I need you for views. Guys, this is Iris. She's uh, She's a gremlin. <laughs> Go play. How bad is the FCK server log? Cope uh, how bad is it going to get? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to say 14. 14. I should say 12. That's how bad the cope's going to be. 12 out of 10. Not a real fraction, flatly. I don't give a fuck. I made my own fractions. I'm a G. I don't get it. Guys, that's all I had for tonight. I just wanted to watch those two videos, but I also didn't want to watch them on my own because uh, I didn't want to be uh, caught alone watching those because it made me feel, it makes me feel dirty. Feel dirty. It's almost like a guilty pleasure watching this shit. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is. Guys, I love you. Be good, be happy, be safe. See you all the next one. Subscribe if you're brand new. And, uh... I'm out of here. I just completely ripped his whole video. I barely talked on that second one. Unbelievable.
The FCK is already engulfed in flames and collapsing in front of us as we speak. There's no way in heck they're going to repair. Absolutely no way. You're right. You're right. You're right, Akami. Actually, actually, that's one thing I want to I want to say. There's one thing I want to say. It is it is over for FCK, bro. If you're part of the FCK, leave now. Uh, admit you were wrong. Come forward. It's okay. Come forward. Come to this side of commentary. We'll roast you. It'll be fine. If you were a fuck that took part in the FCK server, oh, it's over. It's out sight. You're fucking weird. You're done. And anyways, I'm out of here. A second time.